as well, and you're able to use that warm up and stretch video to come up with a routine of your own and kind of stay active. Uh, in addition to that, we have a great drill to practice your kicks. Now, you don't have to run through all 17 kicks, but out of the three components, the chamber, the target, and the part of the foot, we can really emphasize the chamber to really improve balance and flexibility. So if you have a chair laying around or even a heavy bag, uh, just something to kind of help keep your balance, that'll be great. But first, I'm going to show you the, the three chambers that we're going to go through. So from a fighting stance, with your right foot back, because uh, most of us are right-handed, so that's where we're going to practice from. And keep your hands up for good habit. You have a front chamber for a front kick. We have your knee just straight up, your toes are pulled up. We have a side chamber, which would be for a roundhouse. And we have a cross chamber, where my knees across my body and my feet are up. As, as you can see, you may need that chair to keep your balance a little bit. Uh, for the rear leg, you're going to have the, the chair to switch sides. You're going to bring your knee straight up here, would be for the front kick. Side would be for roundhouse. Ideally, you want your knee out from your hip. And your foot out from your knee, if it's a little lower, that's fine as long as that foot's out there and that, that uh, foot is pointed down. And then the cross chamber, back up a little bit, have that up above your belt, up above your waist there, and your foot is underneath the knee, not pulled back here, but away. All right, now, um, that may be challenging for some of you, but if you really want to add a challenge, I'm going to take you through a little drill you can do. Now, you're going to hold each position for about five seconds, but you're also going to extend out the kick. Okay, so you're really going to need that chair for, uh, for help there. So get into that fighting stance again. Rest your hand here, bring it up, front chamber, count for five, four, three, two, one, and then try and hold the kick out there, five, four, three, two, one, bring it back in, keep your knee up and then switch to the side chamber, point the toes down, five, four, three, two, one, hold it out there with the kick, five, four, three, two, one, bring it in. Come across now, you may have to adjust your balance and your distance. Hold it up, count backwards from five. Again, four, three, two, one. Side kick, look at the foot position. Three, two, one. Bring it back in and let it down. You may need to shake it out, you're gonna really feel it in your hip. Switch sides and then you're gonna repeat. Get that hand up for a good habit. Front chamber, five, four, three, two, one. My toes are pulled up. Like I'm getting ready for that kick. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it in. Switch. And then you're going to point the toes down. Knee is up. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold the roundhouse out there. Least belt level. If you can go higher, that's fine. I'm kind of right here is my max. Three, two, one. Bring it in. Switch. You may need to hop back a little bit. Hold it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Extend the kick. Four, three, two, one. Bring it back in and down. Maybe shake it out. Do that a couple times. Take a break. Uh, maybe do that once a day. Really stretch out the hips. You're going to be uh, amazed at how much that will improve your kicks. All right. Thank you. And have fun.